Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ecliptic Spiritualist channel. It is July the 12th, 2020, and we are getting to into our bay leaf wish bell for this week. Now, we got a couple of things that are coming in, so I lined up the bay leaf wish bell to go along with the energy that is going into flow. So we have Mercury that is going direct. Okay, Mercury is coming out of retrograde and he is going starting to go direct here, but he'll be in his shadow phase of going direct. So that's going to flow right into around July the 26th. That's when he'll totally be making shifting his way into moving more forward direction. So I wanted to focus on the on the burns in reference to the energy of Mercury and how it has affected us from his start of being in retrograde in the ending part, mid-ending part of June and where we are today. So I saw with the spiritual guys, let me get into what where we're burning. Now on Sundays we always use a uh either a gold, yellow, or medallion or orange color to go along with the vibration of sun, which is all about abundance and bay leaves. It's all about abundance, prosperity, winning, um, all about winning and abundance, prosperity, and good um, flow moving into the direction in this middle plane of living your best life, okay? So in saying that, this is the areas that we're going to be burning on, growing in relationships, Growing in relationships. Now, wh where I selected this with this Mercury in retrograde, Mercury in retrograde shined its light into relationships because it was in the Cancer vibration and uh, Capricorn as of right now. So Cancer has a lot to do with relationships, communication. So we want to grow in our relationships as Mercury is moving, facing forward and moving forward. And then we're going into refresh energy vibes. Refresh energy vibes is the next one, okay? Refresh energy vibes, okay? And the next one is removing internal roadblocks. It, removing eternal roadblocks, okay? That has a lot to do with Mercury cutting, cutting off certain things that may have came back with the Mercury retrograde of 2019, some of the things that you saw in 2019 last summer will bring back into this retrograde of 2020. So it's cutting those things and not bringing that energy back in. So eternal roadblocks, okay? And also we're doing here making clear moves, making clear moves, okay? When we want to make clear moves, it's all about removing that foggy energy during the Mercury retrograde. Some of us in our horoscope signs or zodiac signs felt some fogginess, some unclarity, not making certain decisions during this time or different things feeling like they've been a little stalled because things were moving in retro and slowing back. So now we're going to make clear um, making clear moves in our minds and in our spirit. So we're going to burn first on clear, making clear moves, making clear moves, okay? So we want a nice, clean burn for making clear moves, removing the fogginess in our minds, all right? So you got a nice burn. Okay, so that's our our first one there. Our second one is eternal roadblocks. Eternal roadblocks. We want to move out those eternal roadblocks, those internal struggles that's from within. Removing eternal roadblocks or struggles within. Eternal roadblocks. Struggles within. Those are challenges sometimes. Internal roadblocks, you know, sometimes that's more hindering than other people is our own internalization of how we feel about things or past experiences sometimes flow into the retrograde and, and how we're going to move moving forward. This will help remove those eternal, those eternal uh, struggles, eternal uh, 
stagnation or roadblocks, okay? And then we have growing in relationships. We want to grow in our relationships with Mercury moving forward. Growing in our relationships. Growing in our relationships. Growing in our relationships. Oh, we want, as he moves forward, movement in our relationships in positive ways and helping us even in ourself and communicating in our relationships. Communication is very key in relationships with soul family members, partnerships, everything. Refresh energy vibes, bringing that refreshness with Mercury moving forward. The refreshness. We all need refreshing at times, right? All right. And there we go. We have our, our burning of our bay leaf wish bell. Okay. So take the time to do this. You know, don't procrastinate. Do the work. It's a very simple spell that works very quickly. It's heightening up your spirit, your psychological thoughts, and everything. It's very, very effective, okay? So click that wiggly bell down below, ding, dong, ding, to make sure you're getting the daily divine guidance readings that will change your life, along with using all the services that we offer on our website with Inter with intuitive psychic reading, spell work, ritual work, supplies, and services that we offer with metaphysical supplies, altar visuals as far as um, with our moon cycles, free classes that will be resuming in August every second and fourth Wednesday on Zoom, and so much more. Book club will be resetting itself after the energy is coming into August as well. So I love you for watching today. Have a wonderful Bayleaf wish spell. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.